The newly crowned Miss Universe is Filipino American. However, some other contestants are saying that she won due to favoritism from the Asian sponsor. Yeah, this is going viral, not really amongst 30 or 20 year olds, Andrew, but amongst the older generation that's like, man, mm. I can't stand to see another American institution get corrupted by foreign interests. So we got to break down the incident and get us some larger takeaways. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, Andrew. Let's just get into the beef of it, Andrew. What is going on on Miss Universe, because like, I guess some of the white contestants from Miss USA were basically saying our Bonnie Gabriel, who's Filipino American, her dad's Filipino, her mom's white, basically cheated her way to the top. Yeah, I mean, there's like this whole little uh, TikTok insta uh, investigation that's going on from uh, Heather Lee O'Keefe, Miss Montana, who's actually not from Montana. She's from Florida, by the way. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think that I guess it raises questions and a lot of people are kind of saying things like everything from, oh, well, all pageants are rigged anyways to, well, that kind of makes sense. There's always been reasons why people won in the background that we never knew about. And I guess we're just starting to see it with Asian faces now. So people are extra mad. Yeah, I feel like she's playing dumb because previous years, they always had people influencing to various levels which way the winner was going to lean. This is capitalism. This is not like a real meritocracy thing. If even people accuse the Olympics of cheating, Andrew, why wouldn't there be cheating in something as trivial and non-consequential as beauty pageants? Guys, you can, you can some, I mean, some people have accused boxers of cheating and boxing matches of being rigged. So if you can rig sports, you can definitely rig beauty and, pageants. And I can see why she said, to be fair, and by the way, I'm supporting our Bonnie Gabriel. I think she could have won regardless. I think she was the most well-spoken. She designed her own dresses. The other contestants can't do that. However, I will say this. Of course, the owner right now that just bought Miss Universe is a tie lady and then the also the 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 the, the sponsor was asian too oh uh, yeah so so, I, so she didn't mention that though she didn't mention the asian aspect but i know that she wanted to and so did all the other contestants wanting to say like man these asians cheated they they had it all they ran it up but you know what it is and the whole idea of asians cheating it just goes along with the narrative that they want to see but i actually think that if our bonnie was didn't play up her Filipino side as much. Like, what if her mom was Filipino or her dad was white and she didn't rep that as hard? I feel like they wouldn't even yeah. care as much. No, there's some aspects of that and the fact that she won for uh, Miss USA and not uh, Miss Philippines. Right. They're like, I would accept it if she won for Miss Philippines, but now I gotta have a nepotism Asian that's associated. She's saying she's so USA, but how come she got connections to Asia? But listen, guys, Priyanka Chopra won in the year 2000. Guess who the major sponsor was that year, Andrew? ZTV. That's the biggest TV station in India. Mm. Uh, Venezuela used to win. Apparently, there was a lot of sponsorship money in the 90s from Venezuela. So this whole thing, Andrew, has always been heavily money-influenced for a very long time. By the way, I don't really know like the reality or the truth. I don't know anything about pageants and the mechanisms behind it. But basically, I think it's interesting that they feel so open publicly criticizing the Asian winner, just like Carmelo felt so openly uh, open about uh, criticizing Jay Lynn's first contract in Houston. Mm. So how come there's been corruption throughout pageant history, but people feel so comfortable launching these internet investigation movements against the Asians? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's... You guys let us know in the comments down below what you think about that. Yeah, I think that, you know, a lot of people are just going to have to deal with Asian faces representing a country that was not previously viewed as Asian, right? For example, there's a disproportionate amount of Asian American athletes in the Winter Olympics. Mm -hmm. Andrew, the math competitions for the last 20 years, wait, the wait, math wait, wait. teams. Wait, 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 wait. How, how come Heather O'Keefe's not coming out talking about the math team, the American right. math team? Why, why is there so why, many Asians on math How come there's team? no uh, Asian nepotism yeah. for the math team? Yeah, yeah, they're cheating. The Asians are cheating their way into the, the, the mathletes. Yeah, why don't you complain about that? Well, you know what? It brings us to our last point, and my point is that, in a way, to the old people who are complaining, you could see it this way. Like, look at how great of a country America is. This is the true land of opportunity that a Filipino immigrant can move to America, marry a white woman, and produce a kid who wins Miss USA and then Miss Universe. It's great. This is, how, this is why you built America. This is why everybody wants to come to America. This is why you tout America on your chest and be like, America, America is the best country ever. Look at us. Look at what people can do in this country. You can work your way up to doing anything. And it's kind of true, right? But that's just your perspective because you're a minority. I, I, I liked it when the people were immigrating over, running shops, doing services, being post office workers, infrastructure people. 
But not Miss USA, man. I, I even heard people in the comments be like, man, why she got to call herself Filipino American? What, what's wrong with just being American? She's American. She's representing American. You know, and I'm just like, well, yeah, I mean, I, I think these are all conversations that the older generation is going to be having with themselves or with other people. Because to be honest, I can empathize with them to the level that if they've been watching the Miss Universe and Miss USA pageant for 30 straight years, that they have seen some changes. Now a Thai trans businesswoman now owns Miss Universe. I can see that as a jarring image in your mind, Lord, right? take me now. I can't take the changes. It's been such a push and pull. Strike me down. Hey, man, this is the globalized economy. This is capitalism. You I guys mean, built listen, this. Y'all uh, built this. A lot of the major soccer teams are owned by uh, Arab money yeah. in Europe, right? And now, of course, Ronaldo is going to play for Saudi Arabia. I mean, there's a lot of uh, Chinese companies that own, like, AMC, for example. Like, I don't know. I guess, Andrew, is it... Do, do you empathize or are you just, like, saying it is I, what it is, right? I, I wish that there was, like, some panel discussion or some type of like round table discussion you can have with old people, you know, like these old grumpy people who are mad and I get it. They saw the world change extremely quickly before their eyes. And maybe they feel like it doesn't fully benefit. Why, why do I have to watch squid game? It's not a calamari game. It's just like, it's how, just, how, we don't how, even eat squid. How come when I when I turn on Netflix, there's all these Korean shows, man? I mean, they're quite well made. You know, I admit they're pretty good. And some of the actors are even I mean, kinda, Bong Joon-ho can sure tell a story. Yeah, but but it's not, it's not what I wanted to see. Listen, I wish that there was more conversations about this. I really think so. Right. And, and hopefully. You're saying there should be a program to ease people dude, in who have been consuming content yo, throughout the 50s, 60s, 70s. 70s into the Yo. 80s to prepare them for like 20 23 and beyond okay here's the pitch guys to those rich foreign money or the rich asian money right uh let's put a little money aside to start a little youtube channel or a network that's about explaining and having these talks with the older generation because there is totally a generational shift so maybe there needs to be something done about that and i don't know if they're going to watch this video but hopefully if you are hopefully you're hearing what we're saying yeah, and by the way, I'm not saying that everybody who didn't like this situation or supported Miss Montana's campaign against um, Miss Texas is racist or anything like that. I could totally see them just being like, I just don't like that, that, that being white feels outlawed. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I, I could see it. I could see it. You know, listen, guys. But the changes are here. How are we going to deal with them? Let us know what you think of this whole incident in the comment section below, plus the larger implications and takeaways. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.